Hello everyone, this is Fanazan and this is part 2 of my scripting in C Sharp tutorial. Uh, in the last video I promised you to make a web browser that works with viewing videos of YouTube and downloading, of course. So, you're gonna go to File, New, Project, Windows Format Application, call it whatever you want. Now let's change the name to Web Browser. Make the window a little bigger. And now we're gonna get some buttons. Hold on a second. We gotta add a back button. Uh, a forward button a home button a refresh button and now the text box which we will type the URLs in And here we're gonna type in go button which navigates us to the sites and now we are having a stop button and now we're gonna you have a web browser for the toolbox make it big like this and now when we started debug we can't we can actually type in here but we can go stop refresh home forward back we can't do anything just type in some URLs that's because we need some coding go to the go button and I got the codes right here I will um, have them in the description so you can copy paste them this will navigate um, this will navigate to the web page you type in the text box that one let me just see if it works it should do in it and it does it works sorry about that now we're gonna have the stop button coding let me see here. Now we're gonna hit the refresh button. Now we're gonna have the home button. Now we're gonna have the forward button. And for last, we're gonna have the back button. Now this should work. Google.com, go, it navigates to the site and it works. Now let's go to YouTube, back, it works, forward, works, home, works, YouTube, refresh, works. Let me just test it out again. That wasn't a appropriate. Proper, uh, so let's see if this. Yeah, it works. Home. And you can actually also download with this. Let's download CC Cleaner. But it looks kind of like in Internet Explorer to download thingy. Oops. As you can see, it looks like, um, but it, if we save it, now it's done. It kind of lags, like, yeah, that you can see right there. This is CC Cleaner, which I downloaded from our web browser, so it actually works. 
So now we can close this. And you can actually change change the picture of the buttons. Like just don't have any text and find a picture for it. Let me just there we go. As you can see, I'm gonna put it at the center. Make it a little smaller. Like that. It's fine. And you have pictures then instead of um, text. Oops. Forgot to remove the text. Very good. So as you can see, it looks nicer. Which is just some pictures. But you. This is just some clips. Or uh, pictures, I mean, that my friend cut it out for me. You should, if you have some experience with Photoshop or something else, you can make some uh, pretty nice web browser by creating the buttons yourself. Professional looking buttons. So that was it. That was the web browser. You can also have the pro a progress bar. But I don't know how it entirely works, like coding it. So every web page, it when it loads, it takes time because it needs to it needs to know the time, how much it takes to load another website and and stuff. So that was it. That's this is just a basic web browser you can create for yourself. Fun. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you next time. Remember the codes are in the description. Thanks for watching, bye. Oh, and remember to subscribe.